Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a little girl in Bavarian national dress. When crocheted using eight ply yarn and a three millimeter hook, the large one, the size is eight centimeters by 17 and a half centimeters or three inches by six and three quarter inches. The medium girl crocheted using four ply crochet cotton and a 1.5 millimeter hook is 5 centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters or 2 inches by 5 inches. The small girl crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1 millimeter hook is 4 centimeters by 9 centimeters or 1 and a half inches by 3 and a half inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be a bit smaller than this one but I'll let you know the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 208 yellow gold, 201 electric blue, 254 moon rock, 106 snow white, 390 poppy rose, 173 bluebell, 110 black, 105 bridal white. I've got a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends, scissors and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and embroider on the markings. I'll be starting on the head at the chin there and I've got my 105 the bridal white and I start with four chain. For row one, I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook and bring up a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the two loops. We need one more single crochet in that stitch. We work one double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We have two loops left. Then Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work two single crochet in the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and we turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with two chain and turn our work. We're going to work two half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. And we work one more half double crochet in that first stitch. 
Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So after our two single crochet into the first stitch work, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our 11 stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And for row 7 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left. I've got two stitches left. I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row I start with one chain, I don't turn my work and I work one single crochet in each stitch down to round the chin. I'm going to work two single crochet in each of the three bottom stitches round the chin. 
so just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge and work a single crochet in each stitch down to those three stitches around the chin And in these three stitches work two single crochet into each stitch. It will just give it a little bit more rounded chin. I'm holding this tail against my work and crocheting over the top of it. And then I work one single crochet in each stitch up to the corner. Into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and work one single crochet in each stitch across the top. and then I work one single crochet in that corner stitch, one chain and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook and fasten off. And that's the head done. I'm starting on the dress now I'll start on the bottom part of the skirt. I've got my 390 the poppy rose and I work 12 chain. Now I want the skirt bottom to be a little bit rounded so I'm going to work three different stitches along the bottom to give it a bit more of a rounded shape. So I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. Then I work one half double crochet into each of the following two chain. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, bring up a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops and then a half double crochet into the next stitch. Then I work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So one double crochet into each of the next three stitches.
one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. And one single crochet into each of the last two stitches. And that's the first row. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have nine stitches. So work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. I have two stitches left. We work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the nine stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches, a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So, so work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the seven stitches.
of our weight we start with one chain and turn. We'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches, a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the five stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the skirt of the dress done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch down this first side. And then into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I work one single crochet in each stitch along the bottom. And then into the corner stitch I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I'll work one single crochet in each stitch up this side into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then a single crochet along to the end. I'll work one chain and slip stitch into the first stitch. So I'll complete the neatening row. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back with my electric blue and we'll work the bodice. Now we're going to work the bodice on the three stitches along the top here. So not the two chain at the sides. So join to the first stitch, that one there, I've got my 201, the electric blue, and work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches.
and for row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn we work 2 single crochet in the first stitch 1 single crochet in the next stitch and 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we fasten off and that's the bodice done now we're going to join for the neatening row and the straps in the bottom there of the blue part and we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch up that side and then we work six chain for that first strap we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain when we stitch her together the straps will be stitched over the top of the shoulder so we've got a little bit extra and then we slip stitch in each stitch along the top there and work six chain we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain and then work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side and fasten off And that's the dress done. Now I'm starting on the front hair now. I've got my 254 the moon rock and I start with six chain. I work two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. then one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn we're going to work 2 single crochet in the first stitch 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch we'll work 2 single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 9 stitches so work 2 single crochet into the first stitch then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with two chain and turn. We're going to work two half double crochet into the first stitch. Then work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches. And then we work seven chain that's for the first strand of hair. Now for row five we miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. One single crochet into each of the following two chain. And one half double crochet into each of the last two chain. And then we're going to slip stitch in the second stitch along row four. So we turn our work this bottom part of the work around and slip stitch in this second stitch. Now we're going to work the fringe. We work two chain and then slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom and we're going to repeat that until we have the two stitches left. So two chain and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. It's a bit fiddly. And then slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom. And work two chain slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and slip stitch in the next stitch along the bottom and just repeat that until we have two stitches left along the bottom
Now I've got two stitches left. I work seven chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain. And then one single crochet into each of the following two chain. And one half double crochet into each of the last two chain. And slip stitch in the last stitch along the bottom there. And that's the hair done. We're going to work a neatening row from this strand up around the top to the start of the first strand. So just work one slip stitch in each stitch around to the start of the first strand. and fasten off. And that's the front of the hair. Now for the back of the hair here, I've got my 254 the moon rock and I start with 10 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 9 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn, we'll work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch, 2 single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches.
For row 4, we start with 1 chain and turn. We'll work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, 2 single crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 13 stitches. So work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 13 stitches. For row 6, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. Now if you wanted your girl to have longer hair, you could work a row or two extra there of just one chain and turn and one single crochet in each stitch. For row 7, I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then I'm going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. and I work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row weight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 11 stitches. For row 9, we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch.
and for bow 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. And that's the back of the hair done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain. We don't turn, though if you do it doesn't matter. And we work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So I'll work my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When you get back to the beginning of the row you slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the back of the hair done. For the eyes I'll be using the 110, the black, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle, then put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. And that's my magic loop. Then I work one chain and two single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight so I take hold of the tail and ease it in and I work a slip stitch in the top of the chain and fasten off. And that's the first eye. I'll make another one the same. I make a magic loop and work one chain and work two single crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the chain. and fasten off. Now for the apron I've got my 106 the Snow White and I start with 3 chain I'm starting at the top of the apron. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the two remaining chain. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn and I work two single crochet in each stitch. I'll have four stitches. For bow 3 I start with one chain and turn and I work one single crochet into each of the four stitches.
for bow 4 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the six stitches. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, and work 2 single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 7 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 8 stitches. For row 8 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a slip stitch in the first stitch and then work 2 chain and slip stitch in the next stitch and I repeat that across the bottom 2 chain and slip stitch in the next stitch 2 chain and slip stitch in the next stitch right across the bottom. I've got one to go, two chain and slip stitch in the last stitch. Then I'll work one chain and I'm going to work a neatening row up the side along the top and down the other side. So my neatening row is just going to be a slip stitch in each stitch up the side Into the corner stitch I'm going to work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and the same in the next corner stitch. One slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch. And then work a slip stitch in each stitch down the side. and fasten off.
and that's the apron. Now I'm going to work these shoes next. So I work them at the bottom of the dress. I find the middle stitch at the bottom, so this stitch here, and I join the stitch after the middle stitch. I'll just join in the back loop only. I've got my 110, the black. And I work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, the back loop only, and one single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch and fasten off. And for the second shoe, I join three stitches back from the first shoe in the back loop only. So this loop here. And the second shoe was worked the same. I start with one chain. and work one single crochet in the back loop only of the as the same stitch as a chain and one single crochet in the back loop only of the next stitch and fasten off and those are the shoes done now I'll work the belt so I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I start with 8 chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. and fasten off. And that's the belt done. Now I'm going to start on this blouse now. I've got my 173 the blue bell and I start with 10 chain. For row 1 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 9 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 9 stitches.
Now we're going to start on the first side. We start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch, one half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the following stitch. And we fasten off. For the second side, we join the blue bell in the third last stitch. So this stitch here and we work three chain. We work one double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. That's a treble using UK terms. One half double crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet in the last stitch. And that's the blouse done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we're going to work down the side first. Work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side to the corner stitch. Into the corner stitch work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch. And then work one slip stitch in each stitch along the bottom. Into the corner stitch we work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and then a slip stitch up to the point there where we fastened off. Into the point work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch. And then work probably one slip stitch down the side. Now we're going to work into these three stitches across the bottom there. We work one half double crochet in the first stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch and then one half double crochet into the last stitch and then a slip stitch where it joins on the side and then into the point work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and then just work a slip stitch in each of the last few stitches down to the beginning of the row. And fasten off. And that's the blouse done. For the necklace, I've got a little bit of black chain behind the flower. If you prefer, you could work that in thinner cotton. Now, I leave a bit of a tail, and when I'm weaving in the ends, I don't weave that in 
because I'll use that to fasten it to the back of the neck and I work a chain fairly tight and leave a bit of a tail to stitch it to the back of the neck and that's the chain for the necklace. Now for the flowers I'm going to work one for the necklace and one for in the hair. So I've got my 208, the yellow gold, and I make a magic loop. And into my circle I work two chain and slip stitch in the circle. And I repeat that four more times, two chain and slip stitch into the circle. Two chain and slip stitch into the circle and I'll need two more. And pull the circle tight and fasten off. And I'll work one more flower. I make a magic loop and work two chain and slip stitch into the circle. Two chain and slip stitch in the circle and I'll repeat that three more times. I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the flower done. Now for the neck, I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I start with six chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row four, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For 
for row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 7 I start with one chain and turn. I work a joined single crochet in the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So the same stitch as the last part of the joined single crochet and the last stitch. For row 8 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 9 I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And for row 10 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And that's the neck done except for the neatling row. For the neatling row we start with one chain and we work one slip stitch in each stitch around our work. So I'll work the neatling row and I'll be back and we'll work the arms. For the first arm, this one, the right one, using my 105, the bridle white, I start with 10 chain. I pull the last chain quite tight. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet in the next stitch one slip stitch in the following stitch and a single crochet in the next stitch Then I work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one half double crochet in each remaining stitch. and fasten off. And that's the right arm done. For the left arm, using my bridle white, I work 10 chain. I miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next three chain. I work two half double crochet in the next stitch.
one single crochet in the following stitch slip stitch in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and slip stitch in the last stitch and fasten off and that's the left arm done that's all the pieces worked I'll just weave in the ends except for the necklace and I'll be back and we'll put it together now there's all the pieces I've got the dress the two arms the belt two eyes two flowers the blouse the back hair the front hair the head the apron and the chain for the necklace the first things I'll do is attach the hair to the head and stitch the two strands down the side of the face there I'll embroider a white dot in the middle of each eye and I'll embroider probably five dots along the bottom of the apron the next things I do is attach the apron to the dress just in there and the eyes to the head just about there and I'll probably embroider on eyelashes as well next I'll embroider on a nose and a mouth and I'll attach the belt around the waist next I'll embroider these two white crosses on the bodice in the centre and I'll attach the blouse behind the dress the bottom of the blouse goes even with the top of the belt and I stitch the straps over the top of the blouse the next things I'll do is stitch the arms in behind the sleeves and then they come in onto the apron there just like that and I'll stitch the neck in behind the dress the straps of the dress go to the shoulders there so just in like that the next thing I'll do is attach the necklace chain at the back of the neck like that and then I'll attach a flower to the middle and I'll also attach a flower on the hair there next I attach the head to the neck just in like that the last thing I do is attach the hair to the back of the head the narrower part goes at the bottom and you can make the hair longer or shorter depending on what you'd like so I'll put mine in about there so I'll attach that and I'll be back to show you the finished girl and there's the finished girl the size is 6 cm by 14 cm or 2 and a quarter inches by 5 and a half inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.